Hey guys, so today we're gonna to talk about five books that I think every programmer should read. I went ahead and pulled them off my bookshelf. These are gonna be a little bit different than some of the other lists you've seen out there. So let's begin. So these books are in no particular order, but one of the ones that I really like is Masters of Deception. You can see right here by Michelle Slatala and Joshua Quitner. And it's kind of a book just about the old school hacking groups of the 19, the late 80s, early 90s. They went into how they were getting into phone systems. They were doing freaking. They were hacking. Um, just getting in a lot of trouble in New York. It's a really interesting story about these different kind of hacking groups and how they attacked each other and what they did to really change the world as we know it. It's really cool, really interesting story and I would recommend it for people. Now, to go in a little bit more traditional sense, I have a few other books. Um, in college, I took an algorithms class and I've talked about this before. I think algorithms are something that everybody should probably learn just at least some of the basics. It's just another tool in your toolbox that you can use as a programmer. You don't necessarily need to know algorithms to be a good programmer, but I think if you know a lot of algorithms, it can make you a better programmer. And especially if you're looking to get a job, um, a lot of companies require algorithms and you're gonna need to be good at them to get jobs. Not all of them, but some. So if you really want to go deep dive into algorithms, um, there is definitely cracking the coding interview which I, I like, I don't have the book right here, but if you wanna kinda of get a textbook, like something you would learn in school, Introduction to Algorithms, this is the second edition book. It's definitely great, uh, it's by Thomas Corman, Charles Ly uh, Ronald Revest. I'm not gonna to try to pronounce all their names, but, so you're gonna get a really crazy amount of math here. It's definitely like a college textbook, so, this is not an easy read, but if you wanna just look up an algorithm that you're interested in and get a real detailed overview on it, you can look at this and try to understand it. Uh, and it has questions and answers in the back too, so that helps. Another book I would highly recommend is The Pragmatic Programmer by Andrew Hunt and David Thomas. And this is kind of gives a lot, it, this is usually recommended in a lot of lists for programmers, um, web developers too. Um, you can see here, I'll read the back for a second. It's straight from the programming trenches that pragmatic programmer cuts through the increasing specialization and technicalities of modern software development to examine the core process, taking requirement and producing working maintainable code that delights its users. It covers topics ranging from personal responsibility, career development to architectural techniques, for keeping your code flexible and easy and adapt and reuse, read this book and you'll learn how to, and it keeps on going on and on about software, kind of best practices for software development. If you want to be really good at your craft and really understand the details of it, this is a great book to, uh, to dig your teeth in. And it's also very easy read. It's not gonna require, uh, you know, you, you don't have to have a college degree to understand it. It really goes to some basics. It's a really easy read. I would highly recommend it. Um, one step up from that, a lot of other people and a lot of lists um, for developers re recommend this book, and this is Code Complete. Uh, this is second edition by Steve McConnell. It's a pretty thick book. I've actually gone through it a few times. I haven't read it all, but it certainly uh, has a couple of great topics. Um, I'll read a little bit of the back. It's widely considered one of the best practical guides to programming. Steve McConnell's original Code Complete has been helping developers write better software for more than a decade. So it goes into a ton of different topics from organizing your code, working with classes, routines, uh, talks about variables and great naming conventions, pseudocode. I mean, even, even talks a little bit, quite a bit about like conditionals and then um, how the role of testing, integration testing, I mean, it really goes through everything you, you should learn. If you, especially if you're a self-taught programmer, picking up the Pragmatic Programmer or Code Complete is a, is a definitely a good idea just because they are gonna fill in some of those gaps that you don't know that you 
you'll you wouldn't know unless you get a job so these are definitely great books for everyone and if you're really looking for just something a little bit easier an easier read the pragmatic programmer right here would be my first choice because it is a lot easier it's a lot um it's an easier read too than code complete and code complete does ramp up so when you get into like near the middle and end you're going to get into some advanced topics so if you didn't understand the beginning you're going to kind of get lost later on and one more book uh, i gotta plug my own and that is the ember js cookbook which is the first book i wrote uh, it just has a bunch of different like uh, ember js recipes kind of to get you up and running in ember js pretty quickly it has over 65 of them it's uh it was a, a a love i guess a work of love i guess i should say i wrote it last year but it's still very relevant for today and if you've been thinking about different front-end frameworks uh view ember react angular kind of react and view are getting a lot of play right now consider ember js just to you know see what else is out there and see different ways of doing it i think you'll be surprised of how well it's it is and how well it's put together and how easy it is to get an app up and running um i have another book coming out i don't have much details on it right now but i'm going to create a, a launch video on it later so stay tuned for that and also i'll put in the link below um all the links to these books so please check it out and by the way this week um, i'm going to mention it that udemy is having a sale, ten dollars sale on all courses. I'm gonna put links below. If you can uh, check them out, definitely. I have some. There's a couple courses I really recommend. JavaScript, the weird parts, is one of them. I've gone through it. It's definitely a good refresher for me on JavaScript, and it's really cheap. It's like why not buy it? Ten dollars. It would be perfect to pick up. So click on that link below. It's an affiliate link, so I get a couple bucks if you buy it. I really appreciate it. it really helps me out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks and take care.